Hello guys, welcome to another episode of What The Fat. Today we'll be doing a video lesson on applying eyelash curler and mascara. Today we have with us uh, Michelle Lee. She is a graduate from the Australian College of Makeup and Special Effects. Her experience includes weddings, short films and formals, uh, but she's also part of a larger uh, group um, called Makeup Boudoir. They also major in wedding um, as well as films and fashion shoots. Um, also today Michelle will be working on our model, uh, Jess. She's a full-time uni student at UTS, uh, she'll be helping us out. Okay, so Michelle, um, what kind of eyelash colours do you like to use and as a professional and why do you use certain eyelash colours? Uh, well, I generally like to use these metal ones, like the Shoot Uwamura ones. Uh, I find that they give uh, better pressure when uh, applying the curl. I find the plastic ones don't give a good shape at all, they tend to give you the right angled look. So yeah, I like the metal ones like these. Uh, I see. Do you have any problems or do you run into any problems that um, most girls who use um, the eyelash colours might run into? Uh, generally, if you don't really know how to use them, uh, you might cl uh, accidentally clamp your own eyelids or something like that, but you just need to get used to it. Yeah, once you get used to it, then you, you get the right feel for it and you'll be able to do really nice curls with them. Mm -hmm. So generally, what makes the difference between a good eye colour and an average or poor eye colour? Well, for a good eyelash curler, it's the curve of the, cur uh, the curler itself. Like this one, the curl is very good for, say, Asian eyes. They, when you use them, it takes all the lashes in one go. Whereas some, you have to go from like inner, outer, and to the side. Yeah. Um. Okay, cool. Um, so later, Michelle is going to be doing uh, comparing two eyelash curlers uh, on on Jess. So one on each eye, so we can show you a close-up comparer of what it looks like. Okay, so I'll be demonstrating how to use two different eyelash curlers, one being with a rounded rubber tip and the other one being with a flat rubber tip. Just remember to be careful when you're using it not to clip your own eyelids because I've actually done that a couple of times when I first started using it, so just remember to be careful. Okay, so first I'll be using a rounded rubber tip curler on Jess's left eye. A uh, good thing about the rounded rubber tip is that it actually gives you a nicer curl on the first go so you don't actually get that ugly 90 degree angle look so you don't look like a deer in headlights. Uh, try to position it so that it clamps all the eyelashes. Slowly clamp down and gradually release and clamp again while ed edging it out to the end of the lashes. Repeat this process to get the desired curl. Okay, so now I'll be using the flat rubber tip curler on Jess's right eye. Uh, problem with this one is that if you don't really know how to use it, uh, you won't get the nice curl. So on the first clamp, try not to put too much pressure on it, as if you clamp it down too hard, you'll get the 90 degree angle look. So remember to be careful because as you can see in the video, I've accidentally clipped Jess's eyelids a couple times due to the shape of the curler. Unfortunately, with most Asian eyes, we don't have the double eyelids, so because of the shape, it's harder to get the angle right. Okay, so as you can see in the video, the round rubber tip curler that was used on Jess's left eye gave Jess a nicer curl. Generally, both curlers can get the job done, it just needs a lot of practice. Uh, if you're looking to buy a curler for the first time and are unsure on how to use it, I suggest buying one that has a rounded rubber tip as it's easy to use for beginners. Just remember to look for the metal curlers as I think the plastic ones don't ever work no matter how hard you try it. So uh, yeah, happy practicing! <laughs> 